The next stop on our road trip brings us to the Leadville, Colorado area for the annual Timberleaf Trailers Owners Campout. This has been on our list for a while and we're so glad we could attend this year. Oh, what a relief. We're finally off the interstate. We just turned off at Minturn, Colorado and it's under 80 degrees. It is so refreshing. Cooler temps, pine trees, mountains all around us. This place is gorgeous. So excited! Three days of camping in the cooler weather and we don't have to move. Yeah, what's our elevation gonna be? Uh, yeah, we'll be camping at 9,200 feet. And uh, yeah, we'll hop into Leadville. That's 10,000 feet, so. All right, we got uh, 15 miles and uh, we'll be setting up camp for the weekend. Wow, what an impressive area. Our campground for this trip is near Camp Hale in the Colorado Rockies, where soldiers of the U.S. Army's famed 10th Mountain Division were trained. The 10th Mountain Division helped free Europe from the grip of Nazi control in World War II. Soldiers at Camp Hale were trained in mountain warfare techniques, including mountain climbing, alpine and Nordic skiing, and cold weather survival. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you know that we are in the middle of a very long road trip. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our previous couple of videos. But right now, we are in the Colorado Rockies. We finally made it. Yeah, it's been a long trip so far. It's kind of kicking off the second leg, I guess you could say. Yeah, and, this uh, was a main event of why we're coming yeah, on the road yeah. trip. And uh, yeah, we're at the uh, 2023 Timberleaf Trailers camp out. It's a great opportunity to uh, just meet some other teardroppers, hang out with the Timberleaf crew, and yeah, maybe learn a few things, share some ideas, and uh, just have a good time. There's some four-wheel trails up here. There's some hiking trails. This area is insane. Mm -hmm. We're at uh, 9,600 or 9,200 feet, I think is where the campground is. So we're up here. Yeah, we're around the Leadville area and we're here for three days. So I think this video is just going to be a compilation of all the fun that we're going to have here at the camp out over the next couple of days. Yeah, and uh, it'll be nice to not drive for a few days. We're yes. uh, what, 1950 miles in so far. We're going to settle in here, set up camp and enjoy these next couple of days. It's supposed to be an ant. Looks great. We got camp all set up. Let me give you a tour. 
So we've got the Slumberjack set up for max shade. We've got our seating area under it for now. We'll probably pull that out here at some point. Coming over this way, camping bin. Got kind of the kitchen set up here. This guy is our food. Got solar ready to go. Come on over here to the changing area, privacy tent. We do have to put party lights up, but. Yeah, I'm just uh, gonna enjoy the relaxation station for a bit. Yeah. Got a little bit of that guy. We are trying out a new water system. So uh, we got this new pump. We haven't used it yet. We've tested it, but we haven't gotten the setup dialed in. So this is gonna look a little janky, but we're really <laughs> excited about this option we found on Amazon. It was like a quarter or a third of, of the price of the uh, Dometic faucet. And actually, first off, I'll show you what we did to our roto packs. I actually saw this on another channel. Ozark. Ozark Overland. And we used the original cap and added this uh, nozzle to it. It does take a little bit of work to get it in there. You do have to kind of heat it up in boiling water to get it all dialed in. There's actually a video on Amazon where you purchase this too. So we're gonna take this off. We are going to take the camping solo cup shot glass, <laughs> shove it on there. And so this, I believe is like $20, something like that. Charges USB-C, so it charges quickly. Looks like we have a full charge. It does have an auto shut off, so if it keeps running, it'll shut off after a liter, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can jam this in there. Faucet, we'll figure out where to put that, but just to test it out. Do that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, we are out here in Colorado and a uh, beautiful evening, but the uh, mosquitoes are uh, starting to wake up. So we're actually really excited to try out the Tiny Repel from Flextail. They sent us this to give a shot. And uh, this is supposed to just create a bubble around your chairs, your campsite and uh, keep the mosquitoes away. <laughs> really excited to see if this works. They also sent us a 10 pack of the mosquito repellent. Curious to see how long these last. It sounds like they should last a whole weekend. We're gonna throw two in. Recharges via USB-C. Quick charge as well, I believe within a couple hours. We have full power there. I don't know if you can see that. There is a battery indicator. There's also a light on here. So it works as a lantern. There's a lanyard to hold it up. And also it's magnetized on the bottom, which is pretty darn cool. All right, so I'm gonna give her a double tap. We are on and we are red light. This baby's cooking. Right, special unboxing. Ta da! <laughs> Too much? Okay, guys, it's cocktail time, and today we are going to be making a Bay Breeze. This is a super easy, super delicious vodka based cocktail. And yes, we remembered ice. If you know, you know. So, this drink is similar to, I think, a Cape Cotter or um, a Hawaiian sea breeze. I think they just switch up pineapple juice for grapefruit juice. So there's probably a lot of different variations of this called a couple of different things, just depending on the juice that you use. But today we are going with good old fashioned vodka, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and then we will garnish with a lime. And the ratio for this recipe is two ounces of the vodka and then three ounces of each juice. So first we're gonna do two ounces of the vodka. I think that's where the line is. Give this a quick stir, and then we will top it with some ice and garnish with some lime. Is that good? 
Oh my god. It tastes like mango guava juice. <laughs> Which neither of those are in. I know. This, this could be dangerous. <laughs> On our way into Leadville, we drove over Tennessee Pass. This area was part of the training ground for the 10th Mountain Division from Camp Hale. A memorial to the troops is located at the summit of the pass. It's worth a stop. The Leadville area was first settled in 1859 when gold was discovered and it is the highest elevation town in the U.S. at over 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters. Well, hello from Leadville, Colorado. This is day two with our camping adventure in Colorado and we made our way to Leadville. We're exploring the town, doing our part to support the economy. <laughs> oh yeah. And we've heard you have to get the pizza when you come here, so we're on our way there. We've already done some amazing exploring. This area is just beautiful. If you ever get the chance to come through here, definitely do it. A lot of things are called two mile, because we're two miles up. 10,200 feet, highest uh, elevation town in Colorado. I mean, probably in the country, I would assume. <laughs> Pretty neat, beautiful town. Gorgeous views. Yep. Well, uh, let's get some pizza. Let's get some pizza. Cheers. Well, I guess we have to go in. It's the best one, right? In America, I mean, that's saying a lot, so. Uh, Sold? Yeah, let's go get in a bar fight. The Leadville Historical District was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1961 and contains many historic structures and sites. You're nuts, man. <laughs> or are you getting all the way in? Push-up style? Okay, you should probably lay down though. I think you got a lot of spots you should get. <gasps> got him! <laughs> <sighs> Don't even know how good that felt. <laughs> I'll use my imagination. <laughs> It was so fun to meet other Timberleaf owners and see how they have their trailers set up and what gear they use. We came away with a ton of great ideas. A big thanks to the Mullock family and Timberleaf Trailers for putting this camp out together each and every year. It is a testament to what they have created which is much more than an amazing teardrop trailer company. It is a lifestyle, an escape, and an ever-growing family which we are so thankful to be a part of.
associations are cooked. Good morning. We are uh, just wrapping up this video here. It's our last full day at Camp Hale, and uh, we're gonna head out on a trail run. Uh, I think we're gonna try Mosquito Pass, but uh, we'll see what we can get up to. That'll be in a part two, so stay tuned for the next video. We'll share that trail ride and our final night here in Colorado. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Don't miss our next video in this road trip series where we take the Jeep on a shelf road trail ride up to the top of 13,000 foot Mosquito Pass outside of Leadville. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. 